I just had a shower. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing £2 from New Look in the sale. I know. Bargain. £2 in the sale. And then these mum jeans from uh, Zara. But look, I sewed on a little Baymax patch here. So I have a little Baymax patch. My sister got it for me for when she went to Florida. So um, that's what I'm wearing today. I'm just going to do my makeup because me and my mum are leaving at half ten and it's currently quarter to ten. So I'm just going to do my makeup and then we're going to leave to go to Matalan and then my appointment and then I think we're just going to go around town for a bit so that's fun. I just got out of the bath, sorry. I'd have a bath, it's like 30 degrees but our shower's broken in the summer, that's fun isn't it? So, woo, I didn't take off my makeup last night so I'm going to take off my makeup now. Oh yeah and also today I'm just going to show you, I'm going to grin and bear for my room. Today we're going to sort out this, yay, when I'm home, so that'll be a fun little time lapse as well, so. Hi, sorry I literally didn't vlog like any of my trip out because I was nervous to, if I'm honest. I was nervous to get my phone out and talk to my phone. Um, but I am currently home now and I need to tidy. <laughs> All of this. Yep, that's my room. <laughs> Okay, what I'm gonna do, I've got Daniel Caesar on. I'm gonna get some matches. Put on maybe some incense. Where's my incense sticks gone? Oh, they're there. Oh my god, literally, look at my desk. But why is there so much fucking, why is there nail polish here? That's not even my nail polish. It's like, it's like a proper paddling pool, what the hell? Salt lamps are good for calming, for coughs. For meditation and all this. Ooh. And it just goes in there. Ta-da! And I'll just put that there. Main sense. What do you want from me? What do you want? I need to know. <laughs> today, oh, this is so disgusting. Today is turned into a very interesting day. So my friend was going to pick me up and then pick Nina up, who has, um, who's like babysitting like a three-year-old, and we were going to take him to Cambridge and have fun, you know, girly day out with a three-year-old. You know, everyone's like a dream. Um, my friend now cancelled on us because apparently she doesn't have enough petrol, which is bullshit. Because we were going to give her. I was going to give her a fiver for petrol, and so was Nina, which is plenty, a tenner is plenty enough to go to Cambridge and back, like, you literally need just a fiver to go to Cambridge, like, you don't need ten pounds, so she had plenty enough petrol. Thing is, she went out last night with her boyfriend and his friends and drove around everywhere and wasted her petrol, knowing well, full, full enough that we had plans today, and I haven't seen her in, like, two months because she has a boyfriend and she completely cut me out of her life. So, I'm not seeing her today, which means I am literally can't be arsed with her. So, me and my friend Nina are planning to get the train to Cambridge with Finley, who is the three-year-old. I don't know if I'm going to vlog those today, just because, obviously, Finley is three years old, and I haven't had permission from his mum to film him. Um, so I'll probably just like try to get clips of us just being weird in Cambridge and having fun. I'm okay the thing is with me I'm a person who once you make plans with me don't cancel them because I'll be very excited for the plans And plus I haven't seen her in like two months because I wasn't very well I was in hospital for a good like week and she came to see me then when I was in hospital But once I'm out of hospital, it's like eh, oh well, I don't care about her You know what I mean? She hasn't tried to speak to me 
I haven't spoken to her because I'm always the one putting the effort in and always make, I'm always the one making plans. Girls are the most bitchiest people in the world, you'll come to realise that, but I just hate fake people, I just hate people who play, play me around, you know what I mean? It's just a piss take. That's the beef, that's the update. Honestly, I just can't be asked for it. People like that, I just can't be asked for. I haven't spoken to her in two months and I've been completely fine without her. You know, I prefer if she was in my life, but it's like finding the balance of that I'm finding the balance of your boyfriend and your best friend. Basically, the beef between me and her boyfriend. He, I know he doesn't like me. It's very fake. I like him. I don't really have a problem with him. But it's like, he always says to her, I don't like you when you're with Abby. Which means she never sees me. So, and when she is with me, and he's there, she's so fucking boring. She's like, she, she's just not herself. She's just like sitting there like, so talk, just talk, be weird, say something weird. Don't change yourself for him. It just pisses me off because I want the best for her, but she can't see that and I'm the one in the wrong because I'm saying bad. You know what I mean? I just hate people and she literally is just using me. No, she's not even using me. She hasn't seen me in two months. You know what I mean? Oh. And she's literally my best friend. I, oh, no, I'm just pissed. I'm just upset. I'm just upset because she chooses him all the fucking time. She sees him all the fucking time and she never, ever sees me. And it's like, oh my gosh. I just don't deserve friends like this. And it's like, I only have one true friend. And it just pisses me off. Oh, I'm getting upset. This is so embarrassing. I'm crying on camera. I'm not even crying. No, don't be pathetic. Abby. Come on. But it's like, I need to make new friends. But it's like, I'm not 12. I can't go out and like, can I play with you? You know what I mean? So it's hard to make friends when you're 18. Like, what the fuck do I do to make friends? I go to college, but they're not even like... They are my friends, but it's like a different friendship because I feel like they don't even like me most of the time. So I can't even talk to them about anything because they'll just have something negative to say about it. Like, I could talk to Nina, obviously. She's like my closest friend at the moment and literally my only friend. Obviously, I don't need... I don't need a group of people, but it's like I'm such a sad excuse for a teenager because I'm, like, never out. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm getting emotional. I never do anything with my life, you know what I mean? I don't have fun. I don't go... When it's hot, I don't go to, like, lakes and jump in lakes like I see all, all these other people do on Snapchat. I'm just such a sad excuse for a teenager, and it just makes me upset because I just want to have fun, but I have, like... I want to have, like, a group of friends to have fun with, but I don't. And I don't know how to make a group of friends, and it's just weird. Oh, I'm just upset because I just want to have fun, but my life is so boring, and it just makes me so upset because I just don't do anything in my life but like sit in my bedroom, and that's it. I'm actually crying. <laughs> I don't know why am I so emotional. I think I'm just really pissed off, and it's the fact that my friend, who has the boyfriend, can't see how much it actually upsets me. But it's all about her. She always has to say, like, well, my life's difficult. It's like, well, yeah, I understand that. Like, I've been there for you through everything. I know how, like, how shit your life can be. But it's like, why why do we have to talk about your life right now when I'm really upset? You know what I mean? It just pisses me off. I don't know why I'm doing my hair, because I literally have 15 minutes to leave the house. And I need to walk to get to the train station for quarter to 12. And it takes about half an hour to walk to the train station. Oh, okay, well, that's my life update. I just cried on camera. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to go because I need to charge my phone and do the rest of my hair in 10 minutes. So, have fun. That was literally me having a mental breakdown about my life. Okay, bye. Literally vlogging in my hometown is so, so horrible. I hate it so much because I literally know everyone. Everyone I know is like from school and all this. So, I hate seeing people that I know. You know, is there someone in that van? Because the van is facing me and I'm talking, but I don't know. Is it? No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go because I'm going on a main road and I don't want people to see me. <laughs> I'm literally running to the train station because I have like no. Because <sighs> I'm so slow. Here you go, look, I'll show you what I'm walking through. <laughs> I've literally never vlogged in public before. There's a big dragon. Can you see it? Hmm. Okay, there's a learner coming towards me, so I'm going to stop now. Basically, I'm in the train station now. I've sat around the corner so people can't see me vlog. <laughs> I'm waiting for Nina and Finley to come, and I think I've been bitten on my ankle, and it really fucking hurts. So that's fun. Oh, I li it literally took me 10 minutes to walk here when it normally takes me 30. I ran here, I'm sweating. I'm wearing this top. 
It's a RuPaul. It's from Primark. <laughs> Eight pound. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. So let me update you. I look so gross. I just got out of the shower. I'm so sorry. So basically, yesterday was kind of a disaster. But then it turned into like a good disaster and then what is what is this? What is my hair doing? So you know the friend who has the boyfriend, she cancelled on me and my friend yesterday. Okay, I literally look like an egg. I'm trying to sort out my appearance but it's not working. And me and my friend Nina were like, fuck like oh well, screw like frigate. We're gonna go to Cambridge on the train. We'll take the three year old because we were babysitting yesterday. We took Finley. Went to Cambridge, I didn't vlog it because I was really like anxious and really nervous too, so I didn't vlog any of it. And then we were walking around Primark and guess who we saw? My friend who cancelled on us because she didn't have enough petrol, she was with her mum and sister in Primark and I looked across and I saw her and I was like, Nina, are you kidding me? Like what? She was in Primark, I was like, whatever, so I was like, oh whatever. And then I went on Snapchat last night and guess what I saw? My friend taking out her other friend, like, driving in her car. I thought you had no petrol! Petrol! I thought you had no petrol. So, she was like, yeah, she gave me a tenner of petrol. So was me and Nina. We, me and Nina were going to give you a tenner of petrol to go to Cambridge. But yeah, today I have a barbecue. I'm a bit nervous to record it because it's, at, like, my mum and dad's friend's house with all their kids. And I'm just, like, so insecure about vlogging in, like, in public. I need to, like, I'm going to go to London soon when I get paid, so wait for that i'm gonna go to london and then i will actually vlog because i want to go down like brixton lane or something wherever it's called to go thrift shopping because i know there's like thrift shops in london that are like vintage shops and i'm like a vintage freak i like vintage clothes and all that so when i get paid i'm gonna go to london and do that so that would actually be a good vlog so if you're looking for good vlogs click away now because these aren't go good they're just me ranting about my life and crying on camera so i'm very tired and when i'm tired i'm quite moody like, I have no patience, and plus it's really hot, so today's just a bad day so far. I've cried all morning for my best friend, just, like, not realising where I'm coming from. Because it's the most frustrating thing. This is why I hate talking to people over, like, Snapchat. Especially when you're trying to, like, describe how you're feeling, because they just don't understand, because you can't hear their tone, and you... It takes too long to describe what you mean, so... I'm just frustrated, really. I think I'm just frustrated more than anything. I didn't have my favourite ice on these. I'm sad. Oh, Pierce gone. Who was the old boy that had the. Um, I can't remember. Good one. There's a receipt. Wow, this is your next test, man. Where did you go for it? Come on, Sammy. In the children's TV program. I know this one. You got the answer in front of you. Symbols! Rowley Moe! Dibbidi! Google! Google! Dylan! Yeah! Uh, no. Stupid cat. Today just be such a weird day but i'm so sorry i told you i told you this um what what am i okay um yes basically i went to a barbecue my my mum and dad's friends barbecue i got their friends are there you know good time i'm chilling with all the dads you know great time having fun eating burgers um i'm gonna play quiz i'm just kind of sitting in the corner and there was one question, and it was like, who was the first girl bound to win X Factor? And I'm like, Little Mix! And they're like, hey! Because, like, that's the first time I said something in, like, an hour. Because like, we've done, like, three packs of, like, different quizzes, quiz games. And my dad brought me home about six, because I'm just like, I have work in the morning. I'm tired, because I was out all last night. And I just came upstairs, I was just on my laptop. Watching those videos, and I started to transfer the videos off my phone onto my laptop. And I got about half eight, and I just fell asleep. And now I've woken up, and everything's just weird. 
I just feel I don't like I don't like napping before bedtime. You know what I mean? I don't like falling asleep at like eight o'clock because now I wake up about eleven, and I could be falling asleep then and being asleep all night. But now I'm just awake. Oh yeah, and then I went to the shops actually, and I got some chocolate for when I edit. I got some dairy milk, except they're a bit melted because for when I was when I was holding it. There's like a fingerprint here that's like melted. It's dairy milk. They're all a pound, so I've got four. I've got dairy milk caramel, which is just, you know, I'm selfish. One of my favourites. Oh, this is very melted and it's like broken. Uh, milky bar, which is just white chocolate. And then I also got the dairy milk Oreo, which I don't really like that much. It kind of makes me feel really sick. Like, it's really sickly, the Oreo one. But, yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm just so tired. I'm just confused with life. <laughs> Today, just, this vlog has just been the weirdest vlog. I've cried. There's just clips of me walking and just being awkward in public. And now me just being very confused. And I look like a worm. Oh, oh, it's even worse. Ew. Okay. Ew. But yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this really very random vlog. It's very... I feel like my channel is going to be very, like, personal. And very just, like, raw. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I cried for 20 minutes on my phone. And I put it on YouTube. You know what I mean? It's going to be very, like... You're just going to see every nook and cranny of me. It's going to be just very, like, real, if that makes sense, instead of quite just fake. And they're going to be, some days are going to be very boring. Some days might be very fun. They'll be very long vlogs, very short vlogs. Look how gross my makeup is. My mascara is just, like, clunk together. But look at my freckles, though. Cute! Oh, we love a freckle sister. I'm gonna go. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Subscribe, like, and like, sub comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this vlog. I feel like my videos will be very random. There's gonna be videos made for my phone, there's gonna be videos made for my laptop, there's gonna be videos made for my camera. You just kinda like just don't expect anything amazing and don't expect anything great because of me and you know depends how much energy I have and how lazy I'm gonna be but definitely be ready for more content because I'm a very lonely 18 year old I haven't really got any friends and I'm not really doing anything for my life apart from going to work so what am I gonna do I'm gonna make videos for you okay, I'm gonna go because I'm just talking out my ass now have a lovely evening day wait I think I should think of like a saying have a lovely evening morning afternoon whenever you're watching this and I hope the rest of your day is splendid there you go new merch <laughs> no if I made merch I think it will be like a interior design sort of merch instead of like a quote from what I say so I don't really say much you know I don't really have like a quote you know everyone's like Spill the tea, sis. Hey, sisters. Like, no, I'm just gonna be like, it's gonna be like a. I like line drawing, so it might be a line drawing for hand merch, you know what I mean? Like, quite cool and colourful. Colorful, and then quite plain. Because I quite. And like oversized. I quite like wearing jumpers as dresses. So, quite like, you can have maybe like an oversized for girls. Well, no, there are three types of like jumpers, you know. And I really. Over like a nice oversized jumper, but not one that makes you look really like bulky and big. One that like gives you shape, but like not shape. But not it's not gonna be tight. But you know what I mean? Like a normal jumper, and then a jumper for guys as well. I don't know why I'm talking about this. It's not. I'm don't ha I don't have merch. So sorry. Uh, okay, bye.